Do you want me to try dancing again? That's not going to happen. You're never going to see that again. All right. You seem like a frisky bunch. Yeah? Did you guys get a good night's sleep? Anybody on 6th Street last night? No, no, no. Anybody going to 6th Street tonight? Okay. All right. We'll see you guys there. I'll, I'll show, you a little, show you a little Drake later tonight if we meet up. Um, so we're keys to success, right? We're keys to success, 2016. I want to give uh, an overall um, agenda for the day. Just two things are going to happen today, okay? First of all, we're going to celebrate, okay? We're going to celebrate. There's a little thing called the World Series of Recruiting. I think we're going to celebrate that. A lot of money, big checks. Uh, we're going to hand out seven figures in promoting owner bonus later tonight. I said seven figures, you guys. We're handing out millions of dollars. Millions. Millions of dollars. And no big deal, we're going to promote a couple organizational consultants today. What do you guys think about that? There'll be some t-shirts on sale on eBay after tonight, something tells me. You can pick them up. And the second thing, other than celebration, is today, I mean, really, the purpose of, of Keys to Success is an opportunity for you and me to master our trade, okay? To pick up some skills and figure out what's going on. So there are great changes coming if you guys haven't figured it out. Um, if you've met Chris Lawrence, Peter Yaskowitz, um, Fred Stephanie, anybody meet these guys? You know, somehow they, they slipped into the business without passing the eight steps, I found out. I was asking Chris Lawrence if he knows the eight, and he didn't know the eight. He came from a different world. These guys have come from a different world. These are pros that have been ultra successful in other companies that have now been attracted to Sidcor. That should be our first tell that there's something really cool about to happen. Why are these heavyweights coming into Sidcor? And so, just from my perspective looking at it, and so I'm going to give you a, a, as common layman terms as I can, it's basically technology that meets data cloud, that meets multi-channel, other ways other than just door-to-door -to, -door to get leads, and meets the world's greatest face-to-face -face customer acquisition company. You put that perfect storm together, and we have Sidcore 2.0. If you think about it, we're all about to become dinosaurs. Okay, everybody in this room will be a dinosaur. So the kids that are in probably high school right now that'll be graduating in 2020, that'll be joining our business, are gonna you know, scratch their head and look at all of you the way most of you look at John Wiggins or myself or anybody who's been around a long time and say, man, so, so how did you talk to people when you didn't know anything about them? Well, we used to use the CPR thing, like we get them to like us first. Maybe you should try doing that yourself. You know, I'm sure we'll ruffle their feathers a little bit, but I mean, just think about it. We're going to have a, an enormous amount of information. We're going to have a very, very cool business, and I'm super excited about the future, and I hope you guys are as well, too. So, to, yeah, yeah. So I want to dial it down. Um, I asked Vera in, in, uh, at the end of, uh, of last year in December, I'm like, hey, so like, what are the goals for like 2016? What are we going to do in 2016? And so, you know, because again, here I'm getting all antsy about, you know, I'm already talking 2020. I'm already talking like, you know, what's going to happen in 2020? Like when, when Sidcore 2.0 is, is here and we're on track to becoming a multi-billion dollar company, um, and so we dialed it down, because 2016, I'm going to give you guys a quote that, you know, maybe Vera doesn't realize that I take notes when she uh, is talking, but I took a note, and I want you guys to take this note down, too. We're all going to study a, a very wise quote from Vera. So I'll, see, I'll repeat this a couple times, but I want you to write this down with me. She said to me, with all of the great changes coming, it will only translate into big results if you have the right mentality and ability to execute. So I will repeat that. She said, with all of the great changes coming, it will only translate into big results. We're not talking Sidcore growing by 10 or 20%. We're talking big, B words. 
big results if you have the right mentality and ability to execute. So this is your first note of the day. So what does this mean to you? What does it mean to me? And so I want to make this, this part interactive here. This is where you guys can stand up and shout and scream if you want. We'll play a little word association, or you guys just tell me. Let's start with execution. When Vera says that, what does that mean to you, ability to execute? Just shout out and throw some things at me. Results. Right actions. Winning. What's that? Get it done. Get her done. Okay, so just owner to owner. Let's just talk owner to owner for a second. If I want to be in the million dollar club this year, if I can run a 20 person headcount, if I can master my trade and figure out how to consistently run a 20 person crew, and the average rep in my deal is pulling in $100 or more per day. So if I can figure out the skill of how to really get my guys fired up and taught properly, and I can figure out how to recruit, will I not, if you just do the easy math, run a million dollar ICL? I mean, maybe that's the goal, maybe those are the skills you wanna pick up here, so you go back to your office and you can execute. Okay, so mentality. What does it mean to have the right mentality? So instead of asking you guys, instead of getting you to scream and shout, I did something. I basically did what any good American Canadian would do uh, to do some research and not waste any time. I went to Facebook, okay? <laughs> and I went to your Facebook. I've been stalking you guys for approximately one month now. And so I came up, and I'll tell you guys whose Facebook pages I pulled some of these from. Um, but I came up with my top 12 right mentality, or maybe you decide, is this right mentality? Maybe it's not, but we're gonna go through a little slideshow here. If we could get the slideshow up, that would be great. So at number 12, ask yourself, does this describe you? I pulled this from Nikki Rinko's Facebook page, a day in the life of a sales rep. I'm excited. Ugh, this is hard. It's working, I messed up. Give up the good for the great. I think I'm going bankrupt. I'm good. I don't know why I get so down on myself. I was wrong. I suck. Wait a second. My life is great. I wonder how many of this can relate to ownership as well, too, or assistant management or being a recruiter. You know, the, the ups and downs. Is this the right mentality? I think we want to keep it a little smoother. At number 11, my buddy The Rock. In 1995, I had seven bucks. By 96, I was wrestling in flea markets for 40 bucks a night to number 25 on Forbes' top 100 most powerful. Some of you out there might be going through your own seven bucks in your pocket situation. Embrace the grind, lower your shoulder, and keep driving that mother blanker, change will come. Is that the right mentality Vera's talking about? Okay, at number 10, Right? All the campaign cup winners coming up here will say, yeah, that's, that's about right. That's the right mentality. All right. Number nine, we all watch Star Wars. My, oh, hang on, hang on. My buddy Yoda. You want to know the difference between a master and a beginner? The master has failed more times than the beginner has ever tried. Is that the right mentality? Okay. This is for all you single boys out there. Never upset a woman. They remember stuff that hasn't even happened yet. <laughs> All the married boys know this is a true statement. So you single guys, take note before you get down to 6th Street tonight. All right, my buddy Michael Jordan hit number seven. You can't stop someone who knows where they're going. Is that the right mentality? Did he have the right mentality? Number six, I pulled this from Adam Dorfman's page. The little engine whose parents did everything for him. Push me, mom, well, I'm waiting. Little sense of entitlement. I wonder sometimes if we wait for Sidcor to do things for us. You know, sometimes I wonder. Number five, I pulled from Barb Majeski's website. Searching for happiness, where did you find that? I've been searching for it everywhere. I created it myself. Barb. Yeah, Barb, that's our girl. Muhammad Ali made the number four spot. 
I love this one. I hated every minute of training, but I said, don't quit, suffer now, and live the rest of your life as a champion. Is this the right mentality Vera's talking about? Okay, most of you guys, this next one, most of you guys actually had this somewhere on your uh, newsfeed. I don't have a nine to five. I have a when I open my eyes to when I close my eyes. How many of you guys feel like that? And then the top two, um, Ashton Kutcher. Now, most people probably know Ashton Kutcher as a guy who's on that 70s show, but he's actually quite the business mogul. He's a venture capitalist in several high-tech startups like Skype, Foursquare, Airbnb. This guy will be a billionaire. And so I believe that opportunity looks a lot like work. When I was 13, I had my first job with dad carrying shingles to the roof. And then I got a job washing dishes at a restaurant. And then I got a job in a grocery store deli. And then I got a job in a, jo uh, got a, job in a factory sweeping Cheerio dust off the ground. And I never had a job in my life that I was better than. I was always just lucky to have a job. And every job I had was a stepping stone to my next job. And I never quit my job until I had my next job. And so opportunities look a lot like work. And then number one, any UFC uh, fans? You guys must love Conor McGregor as much as I do. This guy's a beast. Last month, he became the UFC champion when he knocked out Jose Aldo in 13 seconds. And you can watch his little videos all over the place. He is a master of smack talk, no question. But in this particular conversation, he says, there's no talent here. This is hard work. This is an obsession. Talent does not exist. We are all equals as human beings. You could be anyone if you put in the time. You will reach the top and that's that. I am not talented, I am obsessed. So, we need to master SIDCOR 1.0. I mean, I really, this is 2016. Because all these great changes, I mean, it's not, I'm not expecting these, these great changes happening this year. And I really feel that this year is on me. This is on us. This is on the owners, assistant managers, reps, and recruiters. Sidcor is making a multi-million dollar investment. Multi-million, they're investing in us big time. And so this is our year to step up. And I look at it like this is our gift to the next generation. To all those people coming in in 2020, 2019, 2018, hey, we're gonna master Sidcor 1.0 and pass down the right mentality and ability to execute and this is our gift to them. So today, make it your mission to answer Vera's riddle for yourself. Define execution, what does this mean to you, and what is the right mentality? Make that your mission throughout all the keys, and then I'll see you up later on tonight, and we're gonna talk about that one more time.